Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is Saturday, um, February 5th. <laughs> and the moon is in Leo. Today is the full moon in Leo. Moon in Leo, um, sun in Aquarius. Square Uranus, of course. Why wouldn't Uranus be part of the fun? Expect the unexpected. <laughs> it's been a lot of that. A lot, a lot of that going around. <laughs> so it's finally warm enough to stand outside. I didn't even put my nose outside the door yesterday at minus 9 with a minus 22 wind chill. I figured, and like gusting winds, like 50, maybe 60, sounded like a train was coming down the street. I live in southeastern Massachusetts, and a lot of people lost their electricity. Luckily, we did not, that the miraculous thing, but we had the fireplace all stoked up for, uh, just in case, we lost our heat and electricity. We didn't, but we had a roaring fire last night, and it was a wonderful way to spend the coldest day of the year so far. So, full moons are about awareness bringing to fruition something planted at that new moon in Aquarius that new moon in Aquarius was conjunct Pluto uh, the Sun had just come off its annual conjunction to Pluto moved into Aquarius met up with the moon and uh, made a baby <laughs> and this full moon is that baby uh, we are uh, going down to New Jersey later today, and tomorrow we're going to have the internment of my mom. I know I've told you guys this before. I picked this time because uh, my mother actually had her son at 17 degrees of Leo, and I thought this was a good a time as any. Of course, I knew the weather might be an issue. I wasn't expecting minus nine, but... Um, <laughs> It has warmed up considerably, and it's going to be a beautiful day today, and I believe a beautiful day tomorrow. So this full moon is along the axis of love. In Aquarius, it's the love of humanity, of our collectivity, and in Leo, it's the love of what is specific and subjective to us, our creative self-expression. And Uranus squaring both those ends uh, brings in the unexpected. Uranus and Taurus. Uh, Taurus is a Venus rule sign. Venus is in Pisces right now, reminding us that we need to have compassion as we move forward uh, in our lives. The world is at a very precarious point. There's a lot of shifting of energies and power and and the people are just sort of sitting around going is anybody listening well Pluto's about ready to move into Aquarius people are going to be listening or actually people are going to be talking and leaders would be um, wise to listen we'll see how that goes Pluto's in um, Aquarius for 22 years so we have time guys we have time this is a important time and it's very important that we focus on what it is that we love who the, who we love and ourselves as well right that's important that's what Taurus teaches us take care of yourself become self-reliant um, know what your value is and know what you value and so if you value peace you must move towards peace if you value love you must be love uh, if you value a clean safe loving environment then you need to foster all of that in your own life and as each one of us individuals leo moon right does that the sun can shine on the group we have a choice to choose love or fear. Today, um, there'll be 
that choice may be given, right? Or may be shown to us in some way. Love unites, fear divides. And uh, let's pay attention to the uniting instead of the dividing. And chances are, there's better chance to unite. All right, guys, even though it is warmer, it is windy, and it's still a little chilly, I'm going to go in and finish my homage to my mom. I'm getting all the pictures together for her, uh, her past. And uh, going down memory lane, it's, it's, it's intense. I love you guys. Take care, everyone. Stay safe, stay warm, stay cool, depending on where you are. Of course, you're all cool. So it's hard not to be cool, right? But I mean like temperature-wise, in case you're in one of those hot spots. And I'll see you again uh, tomorrow morning. Take care, everyone. Namaste.